we're going to start the frog dissection, and we're going to look specifically uh, today only at external anatomy. So this is so the external anatomy is all that you're going to have to worry about getting th all you're going to have to worry about getting through. When we talk when we talk about the frog and the external anatomy, uh, this is going to be the dorsal. This is going to be the dorsal view of the frog. When we talk about the limbs, when we talk about the limbs, we're going to talk about four limbs. We're going to talk about four limbs and hind limbs. Okay, so the legs, the legs and uh, the arms. Uh, refer to them as four limbs and hind limbs. One of the things to notice is that you're still going to hit, you still have your cloaca. You still have your cloacal opening. When we're doing when we're doing our dissection, when we're doing our dissections, we're going to spend the majority of time we're going to spend the majority of the time in the trunk area. And as far as external anatomy, we're going to focus mainly on the cranial region. So one of the first things that you're going to have, one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to identify the eyes. The eyes have a non-movable upper and lower lid, and they are protected by the nicotating membrane. You see this film that is covering the eyes. That's your nicotating membrane. The nicotating membrane acts as a swim goggle. So it uh, helps the frog see underwater, and it also helps prevent the eye from drying out when the frog is on land. Behind the nicotating membrane is going to be the thymphanum. Okay, the thymphanum is uh, the eardrum, essentially. It's what picks up sound vibrations, allowing the frog to hear. And then you have the nares. Okay? The nares, these two uh, right on the snout, are the external nares because they're outside. You should be able to take your probe and insert your probe through the external nares. And when you open the frog's mouth, you'll see it come straight through to the inside. Okay? So the external nares are the holes on the outside. The internal nares are going to be the holes on the inside. When you open up the frog's mouth, when you open up the frog's mouth, you may have to cut the back part of the jaw bones. Okay, you can see that they were cut here and here. So you may have to cut those. One of the first things, one of the first things we want to take a look at is we want to identify the tongue. Okay, the tongue is used for prey capture in the frog. One of the things to one of the things to make sure that you notice about the tongue. Um, our tongue is attached. Our tongue is attached anteriorly. Or sorry, our tongue is attached posteriorly to our mouth. So our tongue is attached to the back part of our mouth, and then we extend it outwards. We extend it outwards from there. Take a look and see where the tongue is attached in the frog's mouth. And visual and make sure that you can visualize what that mechanism is going to be for expelling the tongue and capturing the, and capturing the prey. Um, the two openings, there's two openings along the top part, along the top part of the mouth. In the back, these openings are the eustachian tubes. Okay. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to really kind of open up the mouth and really look at the path that that eustachian tube takes. Take your probe and follow the path of the tube straight back. And if you do that, you'll see that the eustachian tube, the probe will poke out of the thymphanum on the outside part of the frog. The eustachian tube uh, equalizes air pressure in the ears, in the mouth. So it's, it's used to help uh, get that sound to vibrate through. It's just like when you... Uh, have a buildup of pressure, you try to pop your ears, right? Yes, no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So when you pop your ears, um, when you pop your ears, 
that's what you're trying to do is you're trying to equalize that pressure inside inside your head. Uh, the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at the maxillary teeth. The maxillary teeth are going to run along the inside part of the jaw right up here. You're not going to be able to see them very well. You're not going to be able to see them very well, but you will be able to feel them. You will be able to feel them. Uh, we, can see, we can see the openings here and here for the internal nares. And because of the picture with the flash, um, right along the internal nares, maybe just slightly behind them, are going to be two other teeth. Are going to be two other teeth on the roof of the mouth, called the um, vomerine teeth. Okay, v o v o m e r i n e, the vomerine teeth. Um, in the back part, in the back part of the mouth, there's going to be the opening to the esophagus, which is going to be behind this. Okay. Behind this is the opening to the esophagus. This structure right here, this structure right here, is the glottis. Okay. The glottis is a slit that allows air to travel from the mouth into the larynx. Uh, into the trachea and then into the lungs. This part here is actually you can take your probe and you can split this and like I said this is going to be a slit that you can for that you can get the probe through and that's going to open that's going to open up into the trachea and into the lungs. Um, and then it's going to be behind this it's going to be behind this along the back part of the wall that you're going to see the opening to the esophagus.